Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're doing some IMSA Sports Car Championship at Daytona in the Porsche GT1991 GTE car. Recent release car for iRacing. Should be interesting race this one. Got a near full split. So 37 cars, 18 in GTE. Get ready, going green. About ready to go. Pace car is in. Green, green, green. Wow, we got screwed big time. Oh boy, this is going to go wrong. Oh no, thanks the old mate backed out of it. Car right. Saw that being a bad idea, which is a good call. Stay on the left. Oh, Clear we've got on the right. Contact already up ahead. Right side. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Right side. Wow, nice. Still there. Clear on the right. That was a very interesting start. We're going away with it. Oh, hello. Whoa. Bit of contact there. Left oh, side. more contact. Clear See, mate, left. he's just been sent. That's somebody off. That's just a bloody... That's just straight up. You're in the fence, mate. There's some biffo already in this one. Got the already the glitch yellow, one of the oval, always a feature here at Daytona in iRacing. Well, bit of a chaotic start, but we survived. That's about all we can ever do here at Daytona. And now the draft fest begins. So, uh, yeah, let's see how we go. I did do a run in the Ford earlier in the week, or yesterday here. Um, went okay. I think the Ford... A little bit weaker than the Porsche, especially around here. So I thought, you know what? I'll we'll join the crowd. We'll do the Porker this time. Not that I feel I'm that strong on it, but that's okay. Should have gotten the third there, but it's okay. So I think we gained after all that. I think we're actually up to about P6, I think. So we might have gained one spot. Kevin having a look, gonna defend. Wanna try and stay ahead of him if possible. Yep, up to P6, so we're going to spot from old mate being sent. Annoyingly, being Daytona, it's always been annoying because you can have pace over the car ahead, but because of the draft being so powerful. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, we got a dead DP. Oh, another dead DP. They're all dying. Well, the GTE's having to go right off to the right or left. Or Gustavo. Man, what a. <laughs> action-packed start. As I said, it was a, it did actually split this race, but got a few lower rated DPs that have been chucked in, as tends to be the case in IMSA. Don't see much point in passing him, so I'm going to wait. Walker does definitely feel a lot more stable through the the bus stop than the board did in the last race, so the last time I did this. Much more, just more comfortable than the Ford did. Ford felt much more on a knife edge than uh, this did. I'm pretty sure it was in cooler weather too, though, the race I did, so it just shows the difference there. You're in the top 10. Starve going very wide there. I'll pick up the pace soon, we may have to look at making a move. Oh, excuse me. 
all sorts of gaseous right now. Oh, Gustavo. Where are you going, buddy? Duck under in here. Ooh, ooh. Right had to dry a little bit. Still there. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Yeah, he's gonna back out right. Gonna slot in, let me go, I think. That's a bit wide. Oh, north track, there you go. <laughs> I think I may have accidentally balked Gustavo there, just broke a bit earlier than he thought I would, but that's okay. Wasn't intentional, but whatever. But up to P5 now, see if we can chase down the next couple. I'll see if I can help him out. Give him some sort of stream back. Actually, that's not Gustavo. That is, I don't know which one's Gustavo. I think that is on the left. Only just over five minutes in, so we're only into the early stages of this one. There on the brakes that time round, but oh wow, Santiago or oh, Gustavo had a beautiful run through there. Two cars ahead did not, so we might actually just be getting the edge of that slipstream of the car ahead. Usually about a second or just over when you start to get a little bit of slipstream. The closer you are, the more you get though. What Gustavo does here. Hopefully, he's just going to sit back and try and tag on, but we'll see. Trading paint starting to load in finally, only taking all race to download. I don't know why, what's, that, what's happening, but that my sterility paints is very slow to download paints so for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, but anyway. There you go, just slowed in mine finally, that's good. Just pulling on Gustavo a little bit. Now we've got the slipstream of the car ahead. The leading is Casey at the moment. The DP for an even second. Well, that's why. That'll be at least an off track, maybe a slowdown. No, it'll work the slowdown, but first off track. That's again Gustavo getting a really good run through there. Starvo looked like he followed me in too. Both of us going a bit deep. Oh, hello. Oh, Gustavo just got lobbed there a little bit by the looks of it. Big rip. Battery went off either or. Oh, it's not 
a good line there. Very poor. Way it'll go. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, he's going to have a lob. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. You've got a slow car on the left. Go right. He rounds. Keep to the right. Back out, Kevin. Clear on the left, left side. Clear on the okay. left. Very, very cheeky lob, that one. Very cheeky lob, but anyway. Those ones are always the worst, because you're basically, basically saying either go wide and give me the room, or you wreck is basically what they ask. They do a lob like that. Frustrating, but hey, what can you do? Again, official racing, the classic official racing and I racing, so don't expect too much quality. Um, as Kevin will probably maybe demonstrate here. Let's have a look. Might do. No, you won't. Good. Gotta be on track. No, nope. okay, got away with it. Apparently Kevin right. wants to have a lob. Right -o. Keep to the left. Clear. Car right. Clear on the right. Car right. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the yeah, right. Yeah, I don't quite see what the point of all that is, but sure. I'm only going to go one more car up in the queue that's still... A queue is... Oh, wow. Wow. Car right. Wow. Clear. And there you go. What a classic, classic IMSA race this is. Right side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Thanks, oh. Kevin, mate. Much appreciated. So there you go. So, well, that's a shame. We're actually having a pretty decent battle until that happened. But anyway, keep plugging away here, see what we can achieve. But be surprised if we can achieve much from here. We've lost a lot of time. Oh no, where does your front end break? Oh my god. I had a car in front of me, mate. What do you want me to do? Run up his ass too. <laughs> anyway. Said my piece, so that's enough. Not really sure what he wanted me to do there. I mean, I was behind another car, you know? <laughs> Can't exactly run up his ass too, but anyway. All good. What's done is done usual quality that you come to expect from official racing you do it for long enough so how far are we behind now we've lost about yeah seven seconds or about it's not too terrible but drop to about 10th 11th somewhere in that region so Let's see what we can do now, i'm not sure whether the damage is too bad it doesn't seem like i'm losing much in the top end so that's good uh, 11th there you go so But, well, there you go. There you go. So, I don't think... 
as I, as I mentioned, I don't think I could have done much differently there. You know, I was stuck up behind another car anyway, so unless you wanted me to rear end him, I don't think there's an awful lot I could have done, but anyway. All good. At least he spun with me, so at least his race is um, handicapped too, so that's good. So nice bit of karma there, but uh, yeah. Oh well, it happens. It happens. Pretty used to disappointment at this point, so. <laughs> So this is a typical, typical official race to me. At least we're... The main positive is at least we're still going, and I think from what I can tell, the damage is pretty minimal. From what I can tell, so we might... You never know. We might still be able to solve something here. I mean, we lost a bit of time, but we are still more or less there or thereabouts in terms of the fight, so it's not like we've dropped, you know, 30 seconds. So, you never know. You never know. There might still be a chance or something. So, let's just keep going, see what we can do. That's cheeky off track, that'll be another cheeky off track. No, okay. So I don't count that one, good. I mean, yeah, only six seconds behind Gustavo, and he was the one we were battling with, although it looks like Gustavo has dropped behind that pack now that he had to, I think, dodge me and Kevin. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. Hopefully we won't have a deja vu here, that'd be nice. There you go, I broke later for you, Kevin, and now I'm gonna have a shit run and we're both gonna lose time. Right so. side. Keep to the left. So what Clear. do you want, Kevin? What do you want? That's my question. Anyway. Right, let's put you back in the groove. Man, that's a big lockup, huge lockup. Might have to bring this brake bias back. Right side. Really struggling with the brakes. So. Still there. Clear. Car right. Definitely have to Clear. bring it back. So I'm getting really bad lockups. So we will bring it back to about there. See what that does. Hilariously, right. despite these antics now, losing to the too left. much time for cars ahead, so that's good. Keep to the left. Clear. Really should go back to third there, I think fourth's the wrong call. I'm slowly finding out, that's okay. We'll try keeping that at 53.5 and see what happens there. Hopefully we'll help the locking. Right side. Definitely struggling with locking, I don't know what it Keep is, but left. really bad front locking. As I say, we're not actually losing much time there. with cars here despite line. this going on. Still there, hold your line. That's a bit better. Keep to the left. Still Clear on the right. locking a little bit too much for my liking, that's okay. Kevin's still not used to where I'm braking apparently. Okay. Not really too bothered after his uh, efforts there. Don't really mind what he thinks, so I'm just gonna keep doing my race. I think I have this I don't think I've had this problem before, not to this extent anyway. So I've got some damage going on that's exacerbating it. Really, I mean, we'll try that. I'm a bit, a bit, a bit scared of putting it too far back because you don't want to knock the rears. But I'll have a go. Better run to the bus stop there. Still don't know if fourth gear is the right gear, but oh well. Still got a little bit till the pit stops, not long, but a little bit. Right side. You have about five laps of fuel left. 
Stay on the left. Clear on the right. Ooh, that's a bit dodgy. I don't know why Kevin has to keep doing this dance, but whatever. Car right. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Clear on the right. It's fun frustrating him though. <laughs> Here's a good time frustrating him. That's a bit better. There we go. It's a little bit better. Again, but we got away with it. It's backed into the corner. Again, despite despite the fact I don't feel like I'm going very fast and I'm struggling, we are still keeping with the guys ahead, so mustn't be all bad. Wish these brakes would work. This is my main quarrel. That's a bad idea. Where is your kid? It's my mind, actually. Right side. Yeah. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the right. Alright, so no tyres. Gonna be very, very marginal on the fuel, so you can gain back some time that way. I got five second optional from that, that's not too bad. There we go. So we got an optional repair under the refueling. How good is that? So let's see what we can do here. If I want to loop in pit lane, it'd be a little bit awkward. Bearing in mind it is Daytona, obviously it is one of the easier tracks to save fuel at, so... 
that in mind, we can always save the extra half a litre or so that we need to get home. Oh, that was a terrible off track, wow. Say what, my SR is getting absolutely beaten to a pulp and it's all my own doing, but anyway, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We'll just keep going. Out the lap times, always got a bit of clean air. I'm not sure where we're gonna pop out, but hopefully, if we can get back towards sort of eight thereabouts, that'd be okay. We finally got through there okay without an off track. That's all right, I suppose. Not been a very good race to me, but anyway, that's okay. I wonder if old mate is going to pit. I think he should. So I think it's about that time, and yep, he's going to go down nice and early to let me know. So we're going for that. Toe here from Gary, hopefully. Alright. We got the 
Gustavo up ahead. Delicious toe. Oh man, we've got a lot of overspeed on him. Battling, that would be just right. It's P9 stuff. Don't know. I feel like third's right. I don't feel like fourth's right. Got no idea through there. Got three liters spare. Right side. Keep to the left. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. So desperate to go. Let's see if he can catch him.
Kevin finding not so easy to lead as uh, he was thinking. <laughs> surprise, surprise, we're um, more or less matching the same pace we were before, so... Kind of need a bit of a tangle up ahead somewhere, I think. Otherwise, I reckon Knight's about as good as it's going to get for us. That was the question, or is it a lapped car? Looks like, when it is, uh, I think it was a GT3. A GT, sorry, but it looks like. Good stuff. up ahead, it's a four car battle now. We're just hanging off the back of it, we're not really catching them though, so... Need them to start really tussling for us to catch on. Just know that if it comes to a drag race, we do have a lot of overspeed by the looks of it, so we might get a nad ninth, maybe, at least. Oh, Kevin, that is way too deep, my friend. range at the moment we're just kind of sitting on our own between pack battle packs so or at least our fuel situation is more than fine now because we're lifting so much so that's good
say I really need these four to come together or something to be able to gain anything. Oh, see the GD3 being aware. better. So it deals with that problem. that coming together is going to happen annoyingly so this is unfortunately how it goes with Daytona we're just not in the right place you're not in the right battle pack it's pretty hard to really do anything unless you're exceptionally fast and everyone around you so this is probably going to be where we finish unless those three head over tangle so keep pushing on in case either that happens or or they slow each other up Where am I going there? Apparently not the bloody apex. Very, very bad. Anyway. I think it's going to matter, unfortunately. As I say, I think we need these cars to tangle. It's totally possible. They're getting very close up there, so the gloves are starting to come off now. now the, the team play is, is off now that we're in the last few laps. It's everyone for themselves, so...
we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, if we can get a tangle, we can take out a couple of them and get back to P7. Or that's where we started, that'd be okay, I suppose. But we'll see, we'll see. Last lap, here we go. Look at how close they are, it's going to get very juicy in a second. It's better. Here's the apex. Unfortunately, it looks like the cars ahead did manage to keep it clean, annoyingly, so... Looks like it'll be P9 for us in this race, but it's one, to say the least. See, you end up winning that battle up there, gonna be very close, that's for sure. Oh, oh we have one run out of fuel on the line. Gustavo just managed to creep home to beat us anyway. Bring it back to pits, we're going. Yeah, Gene, not happy and rightfully so. But anyway, that's uh, that race. Well, we only just sound off yours, so got that bang on at least, but yeah, not much we could do unfortunately. Once we got tagged and, and put into the wall there, it was um, yeah, not much we could do. At the very least the car was actually still straight, so we didn't get any lasting damage. But yeah, there was not a lot we could do once that happens. Obviously as I say, once you lose the pack like that and you're you're caught oh you know, yeah get lose time to it then it's generally very very hard to get back up to it again um, just the way the draft works here at Daytona so unfortunate that uh, that one ended that way very much a disappointing race but hey that's okay it happens you get used to it <laughs> especially in a series like IMSA with the, um, the standard it has but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless um, good fun driving the poor car. I don't drive it too much because I don't think it really suits me that well. I don't think I'm very good in this car as I probably showed this race. But even so, good to have, have a lot of it every now and then. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed once again. And until next time, it's bye for now.